What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. You're too late! It's already gone! Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... I've said too much. All you need now is it not for death awaits you here. Turn back now where you still can. Three drops of lemon balm oil. <laughs> A half pinch of powdered silver. I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Just now their leader summoned them away though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. <laughs> If you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. May I be of assistance? It shall be as well. What is it this time? Your need. Right. Yes? I shall attend to it in a trice. How may I Take be it assistance? like a champ. I shall attend to it in a trice. this time. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. Saravok's sword. We stole the blade from the Ducal Palace, but you killed the man. I thought you might claim it as your own. Everyone steals for a reason, even if it's just the thrill. Problem? 
I'll just do it. I love dungeons. They're usually bursting with gold. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Shall be as you wish. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. This chasm sure looks deep. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? I do. Wonder what's down there. one of Corlaz's ancestors' tombs. Creepy. We should look for a way down to the lower level. I bet that's where Corlaz is. Sure, what's on your mind? I kinda saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor and I, I just picked it up, honest. It said someone broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? why Corlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in her chambers. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Things seem to be going well. Mind if I ask you a question? this time. It shall be as you wish. More intruders. More noise. You will disturb my rest no longer. I will destroy you. If you are against them, then I task you with their destruction. Remove their leader and the rest will scatter. Return to me when this is done. Arcana runs in our blood. In life, we worship the dead three. Ours is a line of wizards, of necromancers whose magic transcends death. From one generation to the next, we have studied the mechanism of undeath. Those who lie here lack the skill, power, or will to live eternally as liches. Your step. They're bound. 
to be traps. I wouldn't be surprised if they're more undead, too. Tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones. If you need some advice on dealing with undead, the Flaming Fist Healer might be able to help. She's a priestess of Lathander, and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits. You have but to you ask. You are more than welcome in my sight. What is it this you have but to ask? What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. it this time? Yes? I shall attend to it in a trice.
How may I be of you have but to ask? I shall attend to it in a trice. Shall be as you wish. Let's give them a right thrashing. Shall be as you wish. How may I be of assistance? What is it this you have but to ask? Yeah. Oh, the hell's 
What is it this time? things going. It's strange having these new arcane powers. Back in Candlekeep? Hey now, dusty old tombs sure make you grumpy. Let's keep moving. We'll follow behind you. Yes, it shall be as you wish. this time. Yes, you have but to ask. You have my greetings, faithful. Hey there. Distract me! You've a task? Bacho, bacho, bacho. Bacho. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. Damn you. Damn you and all you defend! Everything was going to be different. Saravok was going to change the world. I gave everything to his cause, and you destroyed it all! Brother's what death is has time? left me with little stomach for my What is it this time? You have but to ask. You did it! I knew you would! I wish I could have helped you out, but my magic still needs some work. A lot of work. This is exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. 
Thanks. I'll tell Duke Janath you found these when we get back to the palace. The Flaming Fists and I are gonna head back upstairs using the rope we found. It's just south of here and takes you right up to the entrance. We'll meet you there when you're ready to leave. Yes? Yes? How may I... You have but to ask. it this time. It shall be as you wish. Nature servant awaits. I shall attend to it in a trice. It shall be as you wish. as you wish. as you wish. How may I... I shall attend to it in a trice.
Is it just me, or is it a little damp in here? What is it this time? You have but to ask. I shall attend to it in a trice. Be as you wish. Yes, this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? 
Thank you, gods, it's done. It's over. It's finally over. Saravox allies are all dead, or awaiting the news. What will you do now? I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. Can't you take anything seriously? I don't know why I talk to you sometimes. I really don't. Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowin, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace. All have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate. Little knowing how close at hand the answer is. Hey, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmeline. Good. I need to talk about what's going on. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. <laughs> Why do I even bother trying to talk to you? Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. I shall attend to it in a trice. Cut her down. Let's give them a right expression. The hero is here. Take them. You deserve no less. Let's give them a right expression. Are you here? The palace is under attack and... Oh, hells. Forgive me. I'm Shale Corwin, Captain, Flaming Fist. Enemy forces penetrated the palace. I tried to reach you before they did, but... Well... I wish I knew. Duke Eltan has people trying to assemble the Council of Four in the main hall. You may want to join them once your friend's been taken care of. In 
Tamarin? Are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Several assassins managed to penetrate the palace. Some guards stumbled upon them and raised the alarm. A handful of the attackers were slain. The rest scattered through the building, finding their way to you and wounding my apprentice. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. There is no certainty to be had in this world. I will do everything in my power to restore her. The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, milady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. of them. The council will want to know you're all right. We should get downstairs. Let's go. begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes Eltan and Entar Silvershield, I believe. It took all of their skills to restore me to life, but we are not here to discuss my health. What do you know of the so-called Shining Lady, Kalar Archer? I examined the body of one of the assassins. The sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his war. A symbol of Kayla Argent and her cursed crusade. They were. Something has changed. The crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred flaming fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold. Dragonspear Castle. Oddly enough, the Crusade's ranks have swelled. After the Iron Crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. I took this parchment from one of the Assassin's bodies. It is a passable likeness of you. I think you'll agree. This is no laughing matter. Kalar's zealots clearly mean to see you dead. You may be satisfied to leave Kalar Argent alone. She seems unwilling to do you the same courtesy. Kalar Argent did not seek to kill us this night. You were her target. Find her and find out why. Knowing will benefit us all. You need not go alone. The fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies, some of them anyway. The captain here can escort you to them. A couple of them if you'd like. 
I'll be at the main doors when you're ready to go. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. You have but to ask. is the mouths that praise her and those that curse her. I am glad we had a chance to speak before you depart. But now, I must go. There are many demands on my time. If I do not attend to them, their number will only grow. Farewell. Order is what matters. Greetings. How are you holding up? A refreshing perspective. My friends on the Council are inclined to view the tankard as half-empty. You'd think that, wouldn't you? But no. No, that isn't the problem. Or my problem, at least. After Saravak's defeat, I had hoped for peace. But it was not to be. I grow too old for this sort of thing. Once it would have excited me, now I am simply weary. A Kalashite monk once told me, every night is dawn's herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light until the darkness breaks. What use is the heart without blood, or lungs without air? One needs the other. To ignore either does both a disservice. As pleasant as it is to speak with you, I am required elsewhere right now. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Yes, what does the hero of Baldur's get in need of me? I have scattered reports, rumors, conjecture. It is said the crusade holds sway from the high moor to the winding water. The high moor and misty forest are Kalar's, as are the serpent hills and most of Trollbark forest. She has much of the devil hills too, even she This time, I shall attend to it in a trot. The flaming fist is trying to keep the peace. It but it's an These were more than mercenaries. Life couldn't get any worse when I lost my home. Let me tell you, that's the sort of thought you should never think. The gods take thoughts like that as a challenge. Generous! 
open-handed. Ha! If we didn't lose everything before, we surely did after we enjoyed your hospitality. You call that slop food? Three people up and left last night, figuring they'd have better luck getting a meal at the Iron Throne. And that was after they'd paid you your blood gold. How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Father never a calm spot. Never. I'm sorry. I've no goods left to sell. It's just been so busy with the refugees and all. Everyone seems to need twice as much as usual, and the crowds... Wait a moment. I know you. You're the hero of Baldur's Gate. You're the answer to a prayer. I have a bag of money, my day's earnings, to take to my money lender. She's over by Sorceress Sundries. I was mugged twice trying to get to her yesterday. Could you take it over for me? I'd be so grateful. Thank you. Here's the money bag. Please go straight to Sorceress Sundries. My money lender works just across the street. Let me know when you're done. We aren't far from the Elfsong Tavern. A few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and Bar Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorceress Sundries. It shall be as you wish. Order is what matters. So tired. All right, get what you need. I'll cover the door. I shall attend to it in a trunk. Simply no standards these days. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get away. Elf Song Tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. I shall attend to it in a trice. Declare yourself. You are welcome, Hillary Sight. You are welcome, Hillary Sight. You want some whiskey? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, man. I mean, I know it's a tavern, but <laughs> later, man. Ah! Whoa! Out. Get out, you vile will. poxy snake! Damn you to all nine hells, Koran. I swear I'm going to... It's been less than pleasant thus far, but it's improving by the second. Come in. What brings you to my door? We? Or you? You're hurting my feelings. But I never could say no to you. Then again... I can't think of a single thing you could ask that would make me want to. Yes? It shall be as you wish. What can it be now? Keep a good distance now. <laughs> 